Gaffer, back-to-back wins. Congratulations. What are your thoughts on the game? Thank you, Dan. Uh, yeah, listen, we, we knew it was going to be tough. We, we worked hard all week, as I said to you, in the, in the build-up to it, in the press of how we knew Northampton were going to be and, and, and the way they are. They, you know, they don't make no apologies for it. They're back to front early. They push the left side and right side centre-halves on for goal kicks. And Listen, it, it's, it's their way. That, that, that's fine by us, but we just made sure we had to nullify their strengths and we had to do what we done. Um, please, we scored from a set play. We've worked on it all week of how we could score and where we could nullify the other zonal area marking, which, you know, if you, if you beat the zonal from the crosses, you, you, you can find yourself unopposed at the back stick, a bit like Kellen was. Uh, we had some great chances. Um, and again, listen, you know, that's, that's uh, you know, credit to the lads and you know, the, the build-up to the week has been tough and they've been putting a lot in the legs and a lot of instructions and, and the, the game plan they've set, we've set out they've gone and achieved. It felt like they were happy to give us a lot of the ball and, and sit deep and, and stop us from playing in behind. You had to be incredibly patient today, didn't you? We did, yeah. And, and listen, that's why we have all the, the best and the stats on it and everything we need and, and what we do. And the scouts that go and watch these teams for us and they come back with the reports. So well, well done to them as well because the reports that come back and the games we watch and the staff, me, Shuey and Nance and, and Neil, you know, we, and Darren even, you know, all the set players and whatever else, we have to make sure that we're ready. We don't leave no stone unturned because you can't. If we were to underestimate Northampton today, yeah, all right, people will say they're not in good form. Don't matter. This league can, can, can shock it at any point. So we've done the work. We made sure we got the, the tactics right and the tactics spot on. And we went out and um, provided ourselves with three points. They obviously pulled back in, in, in the second half and got level. You must be delighted with the, the character shown to push on and, and grab that late winner. I'm, al- I'm always happy with, with, with... When I say happy, I'm always happy... I always believe that we'll get back in the game at some point. Uh, I, I was disappointed with the goal, as I always am. Um, you know, I went too, um, I went too disappointed that we conceded the goal because I thought, might right, maybe that might give us a little bit of a rocket to go again. Not that I want that all the time, but it showed the lads. The lads do everything they possibly can to win games of football, and again, we carry on that form at home where we, we we've not lost since January the first. We want to keep continuing that. Um, but special mention to the lads listen they're out there they're the ones who are on the field yet we give them the instructions but when they do what we ask them to do there's, there's always positive signs from it you made a half time substitution Connor came off is everything okay there? yeah he's good yeah he's, he's played a lot of games Connor kind of late and, you know, so we just felt he, he was a little bit fatigued in his, his, his right hamstring or his, or his right quad one of them anyway just weren't feeling right but look again we've got Reeves the squad we've got is, is tremendous I said that to the boys at the end we could have three or four senior players sitting in the stands over the next few weeks when everyone's back so again look you know Connor's done fantastic first half and then Reeves comes on and gives us something different so again listen it's you know if there's any sort of niggles and we feel we can stop them from going into a strain or a pull or a, or, or anything a tear we, we'll make sure we do that so he'll be fine I know it's early days and you're going to tell me off for saying it but we're into the top six with that win uh, you must be just thrilled with the start we've made to life in League One yeah, it's, it's not what, you know, I expect us to be battling, I expect us to be performing and I expect us to win games of football and that's just the way it is and that's the culture of me and my staff and the football club and, and the lads, to be fair, I said start believing because, you know, they've got to believe and, you know, listen, we are going to come up against some tough opposition teams. Like today, it was tough for a different reason. We had to break them down, we had to be patient to build up and it's it's crazy. If, if I show you the notes, there's a lot of stuff on there that says patience and first balls and second balls and... You know, when the lads go out and execute the plan, it, it's it's more pleasing. But yeah, we won't get carried away. We'll keep um, plodding away. We've got a tough week coming now. We've got Lincoln Lincoln away. I don't know how they've got on today, but they're, they're doing great. And then we've got a, another tough task at, at Wigan away. So what we have to do now is that game's gone. We have to put it aside and we have to move on to the next one. Talking about the next ones, you know, we've got a lot of them coming up, haven't we? A lot of miles on the road. How important it was it for you to bank those last two wins here at Home Park? Yeah, it's important to bang any wins, really, to, to back, especially back to back, and that's what we want to do. And you know, look, we'll go, we'll go games unbeaten for a little while, then you lose a couple on the bounce or one or two, maybe every other. Not that we like to lose two on the bounce, which we we're not familiar with because we don't want that. Uh, and we just want to keep winning down and keep picking up points. And the longer we the longer we do that, we keep working hard off the field and behind the scenes. So listen, we'll, we'll pick up a lot of points. So listen, please, and it is important. It's always important to get three points on the board, and today's just as important as the next one. 
And finally, just a word, you, you uh, brought in Timmy Abraham yesterday, a deadline day signing, surprised everyone, uh, and gave him his debut today, <laughs> even me, uh, gave him his debut today. How do you feel he got on? Yeah, listen, he was only on the pitch for 10, 15 minutes. We, we, we put him on for a little bit of stretching and behind. I've just had to apologise to Dom and, and Joe there. We're ready to get them changed. Then we score and, you know, you have to tactically change it and bring big Jerome on. And uh, But yeah, look, he's, he's, he's raw. He's got pace and power in behind. Um, He's, he's been fantastic the last couple of days. He's given us something different, as I've said. He's, he's very hungry. You see him there closing people down. He's onto any and any any sort of balls that are in behind where I want him to be. He, he's going to be a breath of fresh air for us. So listen, long may that continue with him. Um, he's just getting used to how we play and what we want from him. Um, so yeah, again, it's it's just another striker that we felt we needed. Um, you know, we'll probably look to let Lolos go out on loan now and, and, and get some games. So that means we've got five good strikers in my eyes that are all competing for a place to, to, to play. Thanks and congratulations. Cheers, thank you.